Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. A brutal beating of a teenager inside a bathroom at Baldwin Park High School. The family of that student angry after they say a security guard did nothing to help. Welcome back. I'm Giovanna Lotta. I'm Mark Brown. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5, live on ABC7, Hulu, and wherever you stream. That teenager says she's terrified to return to the classroom, an area that's meant to be a safe place for students. Eyewitness News reporter Ashley Mackey tells us about the legal action her family is taking. I couldn't understand what she was telling me. She's like, Mom, I copied up. On October 18th at about 1 in the afternoon, Lupe Fajardo got a call from her 16-year-old daughter. The junior was in the bathroom of her Baldwin Park High School after being attacked by another female student. Lupe says her daughter had a black eye and a fractured nose. That's when I, I told her that I was going to hang up because I was going to call the police. That's when I took action. To make matters worse, Lupe is alleging the school security guard was present and watching the fight along with several other male and female students in the girls' bathroom. Now Lupe and her lawyer, Brian Claypool, are taking action against the school district. They are using the shocking video of the fight in their lawsuit, which we have blurred. At one point in the video, you can see who the attorney says is the security guard standing among the crowd of students who are watching the fight. This security guard allowed all the students to come in as if they were spectators at a UFC fight. It's so hard for me to understand why he didn't do anything. A statement regarding the incident from Baldwin Park Unified School District says the safety of our students is the district's highest priority. We cannot comment further on any potential litigation. I'm supposed to send my daughter to school. She's supposed to be safe with everybody. But I see that they don't care about the students. By filing this case, we want to make sure that schools across California properly interview employees. Lupe says her daughter hasn't been back to school since the fight due to her emotional trauma. She says she's in therapy and they're looking for a way to get her transferred out of that school district. Reporting from downtown LA, Ashley Mackey, ABC7 Eyewitness News.